Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1035. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Oh, wow. You know we have an amazing online Excel team, not only at YouTube, but in the various forms, the various websites. It's just amazing uh, what Excel resources are available online. Now, at YouTube, the guy who makes the most high quality videos you will ever see is Andreas. Now, all of his videos are in German, but I, I can watch them and I learn tons of cool stuff. For example, one of his latest videos, Excel 388, he talks about calculating the median with a condition. Now, I have lots of statistic, statistics videos and I talk about the calculations with uh, median, standard deviation, all that kind of stuff. But I've never done one that uses the aggregate function to calculate median if. All right, so what is the median? Hey, it's just the one in the middle. If we were to look at the A values here, you would actually have to sort them and then take the one in the middle. Well, here it would go 2, 5, 6, 20. Well, because there's not one in the middle, you'd actually take the two values and, and take the average. So the average is 5.5. If you were to do this for B, the median, given this uh, the condition B, the median would be all of these values sorted. Now, there's an odd number. Whoops. There's an odd number here. There's five, so there actually is one in the middle. If you sorted them, the 10 would be in the middle, right? 4, 8, 12, 17, 10 in the middle. So that's the median. Now, I have done videos where we show the median function, and then you just put the if in there. That's an array calculation. You're asking of this column which ones are equal to b. Then, if you get any trues, you dump the numbers into the median. I'm going to click this uh, this whole thing right here and hit the F9. You can see how with the if function and this array calculation, we filtered the values so that only the numbers that correspond to B are going to be dumped into the median. Now, this is an array calculation. And the if function logical test, when you put an array calculation there, it requires a special keystroke, Control, Shift, and Enter. Yeah. Now. Let's go ahead and look at the aggregate. Now, the aggregate came in Excel 2010. So you have to have 2010 or 2013 to do this. So let's look at the aggregate function. Absolutely amazing. Now, it's similar to subtotal, except for it has a few extra functions. Now, for aggregate, functions 1 to 13 cannot do array calculations. So you've got to be kidding me. They have median here, but we can't use it because we have a conditional array calculation. However, functions 14 to 19 can handle array calculations. Now, what we're going to do is any one of the 16 to 19 for percentile or quartile, they all can calculate the median. Now, the median just means halfway or 50%. So we can use percentile. Now, there's four different ones. There's percentile, inclusive, percentile, exclusive, quartile, inclusive, and quartile, exclusive. If you want to see the difference between all those functions, I have a, a, a detailed statistical uh, comparison of all these. But you don't need to really do that because percentile just says, hey, if we say percentile 50%, it'll give us the value in the middle. So I'm going to select function 16, comma. Our array calculation is going to have some errors. So from options, we're going to click select 6. Now, this is the magic argument right here. This is the one that allows us to make an array calculation without that special keystroke, Control, Shift, Enter. So what do we want to do? We're going to highlight all of the numbers. Now, we don't want all of them. We want to, just like we saw with the if, filter them out. So we're going to do this with division. Now, we don't want to use multiplying, because that'll give us zeros. And we, we don't want zeros to interfere with our calculation. So we're going to divide by our condition. Here's the column. Are any of you equal to our criteria? All right, so what is this going to do? The if gave us numbers and falses, and the falses filtered out the numbers we didn't want. Here, because we're dividing by, um, these will give us trues and falses. And when we're doing division, F9 to evaluate. 
Division by 0 will give us divide by 0. Division by true will be like dividing by 1, so it gives us a number. The divide by 0 errors are going to filter out the numbers that don't match our criteria. That 6 will tell aggregate to avoid the divide by 0. Now I'm going to control Z. And then comma, the K, we just put 0.5 for 50%. And that is beautiful. Now, for aggregate, again, we, we used 16 percentile inclusive. Okay. So control enter, we get 10. You could use, let's see, down here is the percentile exclusive with 0.5. Uh, this is a quartile inclusive. This is exclusive. So we don't really need to worry about those, because for median, they all will give us the same number in the middle. All right, thanks, Andreas. And uh, we'll see you next video.